Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that you have water underneath your dishwasher, you're not the only one. In today's video, we're going to cover the most common causes that can lead to this. Let's get started. All right, DIYers inside the kitchen now. That is our Whirlpool dishwasher. And again, the common causes of a leak underneath your dishwasher. And one of the most common causes is your actual drain hose. I'll grab my little bookmark flashlight here. And underneath your sink, is your actual drain hose and that is up here it will feed into your garbage disposal in the event that you do not have a garbage disposal it will plumb into your plumbing underneath your sink now let's move to the back and up and you will notice where our drain hose goes through the side wall here on the opposite side is our dishwasher so it is common that the drain hose can spring a leak so in the event that your leak is coming from underneath the sink area and you have pinpointed where it's leaking you will need to replace your drain hose and in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on replacing your drain hose definitely check out the link down below in the comment section as well as the description section however in the event that your leak is coming from underneath your dishwasher we'll go ahead and close the door here and go all the way down to the very bottom and you will see on the far left hand side a Phillips screw and on the far right hand side an additional Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove those. And it definitely helps having a magnetic tip. After removing those screws you can carefully on one side shift it over and you can pull the bottom part out and it will release from the back side of the top plate. Carefully pull that out, set it aside and onto the upper panel and inside the gap of the lower portion of the door and this cover panel. On the left hand side is an additional Phillips screw. Not sure if you can see it right in there and on the right side, go and remove both of those. As you remove these screws, I recommend holding this panel with one hand and using your other hand to remove the screws because when you remove these screws, that panel will fall to the floor. After removing both those Phillips screws, carefully pull your panel out, set that aside. And now we have much better access to all the parts underneath your dishwasher. At this point, I reposition my flashlight to give us a better view. And right back to the opposite side of your drain hose, here's where it connects to the drain assembly here, and it is clamped in place. So in the event that you have a leak right in this area, chances are your drain hose is leaking. So in the event that you just ran your dishwasher and there is some water right here, use your dry hand and carefully run it on the bottom portion as well as the tap portion of the hose and see if it's wet. If it is, chances are that's where the leak is coming from. However, in addition, let's go to the back side of that assembly and you have a rubber hose that is clamped down and loops all the way up to your pump housing up here and on the very back way back here is a larger rubber hose which is clamped at the top and it's very possible that this rubber hose is leaking however it is very uncommon for that to leak if it is what we recommend is loosening this clamp and pushing that hose back up on its fitting and resecuring that clamp to create that watertight seal as well as the opposite side where it connects into the pump housing and i'll try to give you a good look of it you've got an additional clamp right there as you can see so if your leak is more toward the back right area chances are it might be coming from that hose and directly above that is where all the water exits from your dishwasher as the machine runs through its cycle and i will show you that here shortly onto the water inlet valve as you can see right here on the lower left hand corner if you're standing in front of it is your water inlet valve and this is where all of your water comes in and enters the system this water line right here feeds all the way back and through the cabinet to our under sink area where it provides the water and again here is where it enters so it's possible in the event that your leak is near the front left you may have a loose fitting right here so grab a wrench and carefully tighten this fitting right here in addition it could be leaking where this fitting feeds into the lower portion of your inlet valve and if that's the case we actually have a step-by-step -step video showing how to replace this entire inlet and part of that video you will see us reapply teflon tape to that fitting to create that watertight seal when it's being reinstalled and that will be down in the description as well as comment section definitely check that out if your leak is right here in addition come up top and you've got a rubber hose that is clamped in place in the event that you've got a leak in this area you will want to make sure the hose is properly seated on this part and the clamp is properly properly sealing that hose. Now I want to talk about your pump and motor. Here is your motor and it actually connects into the pump housing back here and this shoots straight up into the center portion of your dishwasher and connects to the spray tower. I'll show you that here shortly. However, 
Wait several hours after you have ran the dishwasher to stick your hands in here for safety purposes because that motor gets hot and you do not want to injure yourself in any way. And after several hours, just go ahead and run your finger along the housing area and see if there's any leaks in there. And the main place it'll leak is at the very top. I'll show you why. Back up top, let's go ahead and open up the door. I've got the lower rack removed for better visibility. And on the very back portion is where all your water drains out. We talked about that part at the very rear that connects to the hose. So that part inhales a lot of water and it's subject to leaking over time. Here is your center portion we were just talking about that is directly above your pump housing. And in between this part and the base of your dishwasher is a seal. And to remove your lower pump housing and motor, you actually have to unscrew this part. Some tighten to the left, some tighten to the right. So in the event that you turn this, Ours tightens to the right, as you can see. I'm turning it counterclockwise and it is loosening. It's possible over time that that has come loose. You wanna make sure you come back in here and tighten it back down and reseat that seal or rubber gasket. And real quick, I'll show you something cool during the cycle. The water pressure pushes this up and this helps spray water all over your dishes. So that is it DIYers. What I recommend from this point on, go ahead and leave your lower two panels removed and run a test cycle. And I strongly encourage you to run a test cycle when there are no kids or animals around and that is for their safety. And while the dishwasher is running, hopefully you can pinpoint the exact location of your leak. And while your dishwasher is running, do not put your hands, fingers, or arms inside the lower portion of your dishwasher where all the parts are you do not want to harm yourself so that is it diyers again the common causes of a dishwasher leak hopefully this helps below the video you'll see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your youtube bell that would be very helpful to us we would really appreciate it thanks again for watching and as i mentioned earlier down below in the comment section as well as the description section are links to step-by-step -step replacement videos of the drain hose the water inlet valve the pump motor and housing so definitely check those out you may find them helpful